Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lucy and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for the ongoing love and support as always. So in today's video, I tried out loads of new makeup and I had so much fun. Some products that I tried was the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, the new Peaches and Creams Cream Contour and Cream Blush. You're gonna wanna see them. And the recently released HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder. And some really cool Barry M bits, including their new Freckle Tint, which I just use are gonna wanna see it, and so much more stuff. So if you wanna see what I thought of all these new products and how I created this makeup look and just wanna chill for a bit with me, just keep on watching. Hello, so Barefaced Lucy is back. I have so much new makeup here to play with and I'm so excited. There's even more stuff in here. There is loads, I actually went a bit OTT, but you know what? I deserve it. Okay, so I may have been bold and have used three of these products already. I'm so sorry, but like there were so many days between when the first parcel came to when the last parcel came. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm sorry. We have so much stuff here, so I'm gonna really quickly run through everything that we got. We, here I go again with the we. Who's we? I'm just gonna keep saying it. I just say we, cause like I feel like we're doing this together. Do you know what I mean? No? <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna start off with the biggest item and it is the Be Perfect Clientele Palette. I am so happy I got this. I've been saying for so long that I wanted to get this, but I was just, you know when you like want something for so long, but you're like, eh. Like you just won't buy it, even though you really want it. Look at that. Like that is just the most beautiful palette ever. Everyone that I've showed this palette to, they all said, oh my God, look at date night. You think date night looks nice? This one. I'm so excited to play with this. I really, really am. Um, I think the look I'm going for though, we're, I'm not telling you actually, but I've already seen it. Okay, so the look I'm going for, I think is more just browns, um, maybe a bit of an orange kind of tone in it, and then we're gonna play with some neon eyeliner, so. Yeah! So next up is an item that I've been so excited to try and it is the HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder in the shade Translucent. So HMB Cosmetics is the gorgeous Holly Boone's brand. She is just absolutely beautiful. She really, really is. And I've been so excited to try this because I, me and powder don't work well, especially not a loose powder. It's just, I get such bad creases and I've heard this is finer than the Charlotte Tilbury one, I think. What's the Charlotte Tilbury one? Yeah, I think so. So this is meant to be like unbelievable. So the HMB Soft Focus Loose Powder retails for £13.50. But then when delivery comes into it and the conversion rates over to euro, it was a good bit over 20 pounds. So maybe like 23 euro, maybe even a little bit more. Um, but if it is good, I'm not gonna complain. So next up, we're moving on to some items that I got from Boots. It's very bold and I've already used. And it is the Barry M Freckle Tint. These are like a dupe of, you know, Freck that all like the influencers use, but it's very expensive and is like this size. Um, so this is like a third of the price and I'm not gonna say anything, I'll just let you guys see later on in the video. So as far as I know, they only do two shades, which is light to medium and then medium to dark. So next up, what I got from Boots is the Barry M High Viz Water Activated Color Liners. So the pink one is in the shade High Voltage and the purple is in the shade Wavelength and I'm just very, very excited to play with them. And I don't know, did we end up playing with them? I don't know, you guys seen the start of this video, I didn't. Okay, so next up is another item from Barry M and I was bold and I've tried this. If you are a makeup lover, I think you've already heard about this product. And it's the Barry M XXL That Swell Extreme Lip Plumper. And brilliant, very, very good. But you will see when we actually use it. Again, it was like six euro or seven euro. Okay, so now we're moving on to Beauty Bay. And first up, what I got, which I feel so silly now that I got it, but I only got it so I'd get free delivery. But now that you have seen the Barry M ones, It'll be weird to see how they compare. I got this Suva, is it Suva or Suva? Suva, S-U-V-A, Hydra Fix Liners. So this is the Water Activated Body Art Makeup and it's fast drying, transfer resistant and opaque. And I got it in the shade Acid Trip. I've seen a girl that I follow on Instagram use this and I was just like, oh my God. And I think that's actually the look I'm gonna recreate today, which we'll see later on and I'll give her a shout out. This is what it looks like, it is so 
super neon. It is really, really eye-catching and it looks absolutely stunning. I'm so excited going to test it against the formulas of the Barry M ones. So the Barry M ones were like four or five euro. This was 14. So yeah. So next up, I got the BH Studio Liner. This is the Brush 12 Bench Liner. I've needed a liner brush for so, so long, but now that I got the water activated liners, I really needed a brush. So this is what it looks like, and I'm so excited to use it. It looks really, really nice. So the hairs are kind of bent out a bit, but it's grand. Once you paint them in the gel, they'll come together. So the liner brush was €5.75, which I don't think it's that bad. We'll, we'll see how it performs. Okay, so next up, what I got is two items that we're not going to be using today, but I said I'd just show you. Um, but if you want to see me using them, if you want to see me doing a look, just let me know in the comments. So I got the Mehron, Mehron modeling putty wax so i just got this to be doing like halloween looks i've never worked with modeling putty or wax before so i'm really excited so the putty was six euro and 75 cents which i don't think is that bad so next up we have another item from the previous brand mehron <laughs> and it is coagulated blood gel so yeah do you guys want any halloween looks or anything like that i don't think it's is that even a thing these days um, on YouTube. I don't really see anyone doing Halloween looks anymore. Next up is an item I've wanted for so so long ever since the makeup artist Queen but Plunka has used it on me and it was absolutely stunning and it is the Dose of Colours Knock On Wood Liquid Lip. It is the most stunning brown nude ever. It is so so beautiful. As you know my favourite liquid lip I will not use on camera anymore and I won't repurchase it so I really need to find something very similar and I remember this being so like so that's why I got it and I'm so excited to try it out. So the knock on wood from Dose of Colours is €20.25 so kind of pricey for a liquid lip but it is a gorgeous colour and the Dose of Colours formula is absolutely insane. I have another one from them called Truffle and it is absolutely beautiful. Okay so we're on to the last few items from Beauty Bay and then we'll move on to Peaches and Cream. So I've wanted this for so so long and it is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I know so many people that have this and I've wanted it for years. Very very peachy and I'm so excited to try it. So the Milani Baked Blush retails for €12.25, which I don't think is that bad for a blush, and I'm so excited to use it. Okay, so the last item that we got from Beauty Bay is something I've wanted to try for so long. Again, I just bought all the items that I've wanted for ages, but just didn't buy. What I got is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I've heard such great things about this. I always see people on YouTube use this, and I'm so excited to try it. So I got it in the shade Sunkiss Bronzer. They really, really don't have a good choice in colours. I think they have like four I will insert a picture here of all the colours that they have. It's not impressive. It was really hard to base what shade to get just off photos, but I did watch a few YouTube videos and I feel like the Sunkiss bronzer was my best bet, but it kind of doesn't look like it's gonna work. Oh my god, I just took it out of the package and I can smell it. It smells like, is that coconut? Oh my god, it's coconut. It smells like so strongly of coconut. Okay, it comes with a little thing. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll try use it, but no, I don't think so. And a really, really nice mirror there. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try it. I really don't think that this color is gonna work for me, but if not, I can use it on clients anyway, which is completely fine. So we're finally up to Peaches and Cream, which I am so excited for. So I got a bundle from Peaches and Cream, which was 33 95 not including delivery, but it's still super cheap, and I just love their products so much. So when you get a bundle of Peaches and Cream, it comes in a little pick and mix bag, because of course you get to pick and mix your items. So starting off we got a lip liner and a lip gloss. So the lip gloss that I got is in the shade Honey. I absolutely love their lip gloss formula. I also have the shade Bambi and it is stunning. And the lip liner that I got was in the shade Punchline. I absolutely love their formula. It's probably my top tier, my top three lip liner formula out there. I also have it in the shade Borderline and it's gorgeous so I'm so excited to try these. The next up is an item that just came in the bundle. We didn't get an off me. There we go again with the wig. I didn't get an option to choose a different one or a different shade. This is what everyone would have got. So this is the Peaches and Cream Illuminator in the shade Goddess. I'm really, really excited to try this. Um, I assume you just like pat it on when you're putting all your cream products on. I'm not sure. <laughs> so next up is two new enough items. I'm fairly sure the blush only came out the day I bought it, which was mad because I wasn't like awaiting for it to come out. I just happened to go on the site and it was like, just launched, might as well go. So what I got is two cream products. So I got a cream blush in the most gorgeous color ever. This is in the shade Tutti Fruity. Look at that 
it's just stunning so that is what it looks like it is such a beautiful color i absolutely love liquid blushes but i don't think i've ever tried a cream one so i'm really excited so next up is the cream contour from peaches and cream and i'm really excited to use this but kind of nervous because the shade doesn't really look like it will work but i'm sure once it blends out it will be fine there was only two shades and i got the lighter one or I think I got the original one um, so yeah I'm sure it kind of works on all skin tones maybe um, and just it's about building it up maybe we'll see but I'm really really excited to try that so last from Peaches and Cream but certainly not least is three makeup brushes of course you had the choice of which three brushes you wanted to choose so this is what they look like and I'm sure you've tried Peaches and Cream brushes before if you are an extreme makeup lover like myself but if you haven't I would highly recommend them they are affordable and really really good quality and they last really long so really all three of these brushes could be used for foundation but that's not what I'm doing. So first up, I got PC04. I got this from my foundation. It is so gorgeous, so fluffy. It is just amazing. Their brushes are another level. I'm so excited to use this. So next up, I got PC16. I got this to use for a cream bronzer or cream contour and it is absolutely stunning. I'm so excited to use it, it's so fluffy. And then lastly, I got PC15, which I'm gonna use for cream blush. If any of my family are watching this, I love these brushes. If you're wondering what to get me for Christmas, they do really good bundle deals. I love them. <laughs> so guys, that is the haul portion of the video done. We didn't actually get a primer, foundation or concealer. So I'll be right back once I have them done. So I am back with my foundation, concealer and my brows done. I used the PCO4 for my foundation and I absolutely love it. It's probably the first time I've done my foundation with a big fluffy brush. Gave off great coverage and I really, really like it. My face is looking a little bit flat so I think it's time to go in with the cream blush and cream contour from Peaches and Cream. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the contour first. I'm very, very scared. Um, it says a universal bronzer for all skin tones. Apply on top of foundation to find your features. Use a foundation brush to blend. Okay, so we're going in with the PC16. I'm scared. I'm about to tap it. It's not a powder, mate. Okay, it's a nice colour. I can kind of understand now that it suits all skin tones. You just build it up. Okay, that's looking great so far. I hope it looks good on camera too. And then whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to go up and down my nose and under my lip and then under my jawline. Okay, so I think that looks really, really nice. Yeah, my face is really like dewy, but we need to still powder and all. But before we powder, we're going to go into the cream blush in the shade Tutti Fruity with the PC15 brush. I'm so excited for this. I love blush. It smells really nice whatever that is okay that is actually stunning it smells beautiful and of course the brushes are insane as always okay so that is the blush and the contour slash bronzer done it looks absolutely beautiful and um, so now we're gonna go in and try the illuminator i really hope this doesn't ruin the entire makeup i'm confused isn't illuminator meant oh my god what is an illuminator? Should I have put this on before my foundation? Okay, so the illuminator is not available on the site anymore, so I don't know. Was this like a flop and then they're just trying to sell it off in bundles or I don't know. But anyway, I looked up what an illuminator is and I think it's that you can use it underneath your foundation or you can like use it on your shoulders, on your highlighted area. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on my finger. Did that do anything, people? No, it, I don't think it did. <gasps> way too much on okay this isn't this isn't good i'm just gonna blend it back out with my foundation brush because it's not a look let me know in the comments if anyone has tried the peaches and cream illuminator and likes it tell me how to use it or is it actually shit okay so now that my creams are all done it's time to go in with the hmb cosmetics soft focus loose powder and i'm so nervous should i powder my whole face or I do look really, really oily, so maybe I should. I just need to blend out my creases first with no thin button powder over creases. I'm just gonna go in with a small brush first and dust it under my eyes. There's not really a smell off it. So I've added dust in the powder underneath my eyes and it has kind of dried them out a tiny bit, but I'm not gonna give up too soon. And I'm just going to powder the rest of my face where it is oily. So my nose, forehead, around my mouth and nose. I'm gonna leave my cheek areas. Okay, so we are all set. So now it's time to go in with our Physicians Formula Coconut Bronzer. Oh my god. And then the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I see you go do a TikTok real quick. Why don't you be yelling so much? Okay. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the positions for, oh my God. What are fingers like? Oh my God, and it's water bronzer. <laughs> oh my God, shut the fuck up. So it comes with a little weird thing in here, but I'm not gonna use that. No. I don't know if this is gonna look good. It looks like really white. Like, it does not look my color. Okay, that is actually beautiful. I take it back. Obviously you're able to build these up and the smell, oh my god, I'm actually not that big of a fan of coconut but it just smells beautiful. I think I like the smell of coconut but not the taste. So that is the side that is done. What the fuck? That is beautiful. That is actually stunning. Very, very impressive that now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Milani Base Blush in Luminoso. I've waited so long for this moment. Okay, that's beautiful. Whatever's left over on the brush, over the nose. Oh my god, fast weight is back. Yes, queen. Please come to me, please come to me. Okay, so I didn't get any new highlighters, so I'm just gonna go in with the trusted Ofa palette. Uh, just into a bit of Star Island and Rodeo Drive. Honestly, show me a nicer highlighter formula than Ofa. I'm waiting. Okay, so now it is freckle time. I'm gonna go in with both shades of the Barry M freckle tints and just put them mostly all over this area, but a few random ones as well, because of course, natural freckles aren't perfectly just here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my time doing these. I'll be right back once I have the freckles done. Okay, so we have a problem. The whole part of the video where I was doing my eyeshadow, my lashes, and my liner, uh, the file will not play. It just is broken, and I don't know how to fix it. Like, there's no way to fix it. So I'm really sorry about that, and it's very disappointing, but I used the Be Perfect clientele palette, and it was absolutely amazing, and I used the Suava, Suva, whatever it's called, liner, and it was really, really good. Yeah, I think that's it anyway, but if anyone has any questions or wants to see more about the clientele palette, I will do an IGTV, or just leave a question below, and I'll answer anything. Sorry about that, I'm really upset over it too. Okay, so that is the eyes completed. I just had to keep going. I couldn't keep recording because I didn't know what I was doing. But I created this look and I really, really like it actually. I need to obviously improve on my liner skills, but other than that, I really like the look. Um, I think I'm going to leave out the peaches. <laughs> oh, I've been caught again filming. Oh my God, how awkward. I just have to smile and laugh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave out the peaches and cream gloss, um, just because I wanna use the XXL gloss from Barry M. So the lip liner I'm gonna be using is the peaches and cream lip liner in the shade Punchline. Oh, and by the way, I tested out all the liners. So there is the Suave one, um, and then there's there's the two Barry M ones. Um, I do definitely think that the Suave, Suave, whatever the hell it's called, is a lot more opaque than the other ones. Um, I feel like you'd have to build it up more. But yeah, they're really, really nice. I'd recommend all three. Um, but I definitely do see the Suave one being better. Sorry. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, is the lashes that I'm wearing are from AliExpress. If you want the link to them, just comment below and I will comment it back to you. Um, and the inner corner is just the Be Perfect glitter with then one of the shimmers out of the clientele palette. And that is it. Okay, so that is the lip liner on. I drew it a lot more not just on the lip line because it is quite dark, so I wanted to blend enough with the lipstick. And the liquid lip, of course, that we're using is Knock On Wood by Dose of Colors. I'm so excited. So that is the lip liner punchline from Peaches and Cream and then Knock On Wood Liquid Lip by Dose of Colours. Absolutely stunning, I'm really, really loving it. So I'm just gonna wait for the liquid lip to dry and then I'm gonna put on some of the XXL gloss. Okay, so that is the liquid lip dried down. So now I'm gonna go in with the Barry M XXL, that Swell Extreme Lip Plumper. I already overlined my lips a lot, so let's see if this works. Like they tingle straight away. This is what they look like when the gloss is first applied. Okay guys, so the gloss has been on my lips for about 10 minutes. Do you think there's a difference? It definitely feels like there is. I don't know if it's just like the tingling that makes it feel like they're bigger. Or are they actually bigger? So yeah. <laughs> 
use the side. So guys, this is the finished makeup look. I really, really hope you like it. I really, really love it. So I tried out loads of new makeup today and some of my top faves. I absolutely love the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Sunkiss Bronzer. It looks like it's so not my colour, but it's so buildable and beautiful and very, very affordable. I really liked the Suave Suva. Sorry, I still don't know, but it was really, really good. Of course, all the peaches and cream stuff was amazing. The freckle tint. Guys, everything was amazing. I absolutely love the Dose of Colors liquid lip as well. Kind of everything was brilliant that I tried, to be honest. I really, really am happy. Um, I'm excited to play more with the Be Perfect palettes. Of course, I only used a few colors, but I used a good few. I used like one, two, three, four, five. Six. It was like seven or eight, which is kind of a lot, but for a look like this, you can't really see the colors, they all just blend to each other. So I'm excited to see what other looks I can create with this beautiful palette. If you want to see some more content from me, some more makeup looks, or just keep up to date with me on my socials, this is my Instagram over here. Go give it a follow if you want to. Um, post all the posing pics, makeup pics, talk about my stories, hauls, competitions everything really so guys i really really hope you enjoyed this and if you did please like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss when i upload so please stay safe stay kind and i will see you in the next one bye